Have you ever been in a bad relationship? I mean a bad relationship with food? Here's how to overcome a bad relationship with food. Did you know that changing your diet can feel as emotional as ending a relationship? Stay tuned because in this video, we'll explore how stress and trauma are stored in our body and how altering your eating habits can unlock these hidden emotions. Discover the tools on how to overcome subconscious pushback and make lasting positive changes in your life, more importantly, in your diet. Don't miss this transformative video. You've probably heard it said that stress and trauma are locked in our bodies. Often we change our eating habits that have served us uh, as an emotional uh, coping mechanism. We experience lots of subconscious resistance when we do this. We can almost feel like we're going through a romantic relationship breakup, right? So if you've ever been on a diet and felt extremely emotional, in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to break down the why behind this. There are emotional anchors around food. From the time we are babies, we are programmed to relieve stress through food. Let me give you an example. When a baby cries and the parent hands the baby a bottle of milk, the baby starts to internalize at a subconscious level the idea that any time there is stress, they should reach for food. The cycle continues into adolescence and adulthood. On top of that, we celebrate most holidays and special events around food, creating a powerful emotional anchor that tells our subconscious brain that food produces happy feelings. So of course, when something stressful happens, your brain searches for that particular emotional anchor and it finds refuge in food. The truth is that mitigating emotions through food create a toxic relationship. When you go on a diet, you are essentially breaking up with that relationship, which has served you to some extent. The process can be as traumatic as ending a relationship with a, a spouse. It requires patience, consistency, and guidance to adjust and make the changes successful. Here are five fundamental ideas you need to embrace a healthy relationship with food and break up with the toxic one. Number one, making progress. Progress excites people and encourages them to continue making progress. Seeing results keeps people motivated and allows us to continue to move forward. And so when you see people lose 10, 15 pounds, you see the excitement, they're actually adhering to principles. It becomes a, a very exciting time and where people are unstoppable. That momentum is pivotal to your success. So making sure that you're adhering from the very beginning and, and, and seeing that progress is very, very motivating. Number two, the hardest part of, of this whole idea is that um, you're, you're breaking up with that coping mechanism. It takes about 15 to 20 days for you to really start to see a difference. After this period, what we see is that people start to notice uh, uh, how they look and how they feel, and that becomes very motivating and promotes consistency. In other words, you look in the mirror, you see that you're making progress, and you don't wanna mess it up. So people have a tendency to continue to move forward and push through the difficult times. Number three, uh, the realization, you come, uh, you start to understand that um, what you were doing before was not healthy and, and you're naturally just, there's this natural disdain for going back to your old ways, your old habits, right? And so you start to think and, and go, wow, I can't believe I was eating this. I can't believe I was doing that. You may see a picture of yourself and all of a sudden realize that, you know, um, you had gained some extra pounds and not looking that way anymore can create that momentum that will continue to push you forward. Number four, uh, dopamine, that neuroreceptor that's associated with well-being, right? Um, you want to start to teach your brain to secrete dopamine from physical activity. As you get healthier, your brain rewards you with, po with a positive outlook on life. In other words, you start to activate your physiology. You've probably heard of the saying that motion creates emotion. Uh, you start to really, really feel different and, and, and you start to think back of uh, things you couldn't do or maybe uh, you, you, you played with your kids for five minutes and you were exhausted. Now you can go 15, 20 minutes and you don't even realize that you've been playing with your kids that long or uh, you, you don't crash anymore at two o'clock after lunch. Uh, and you have to go for that big cup of Starbucks. You, you can bypass all those things because your, your energy levels are pretty balanced out. And this idea that you're feeling better and you're, and you're performing better keeps uh, that momentum going and you push away from that toxic relationship. Number five, being able to really balance uh, boundaries, right? Uh, establishing healthy, a healthy relationship between uh, boundaries and freedom creates sustainability in most people's lives. I oftentimes see people 
that create very, very strict boundaries, right? They, they never have a cheap meal. Uh, if they fall off, they start to self-sabotage the things they say to themselves and they get very, very upset because they fell off, right? They're subscribing to this idea of perfection versus progress. I think this is really important to have a nice balance between uh, freedom and, 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 that, and, that, and those boundaries that you've created for yourself. I, I'm always encouraged by this story of a high school that was right next to an interstate and uh, there was no gate in the, in the yard like where the kids would play. And so when the kids would go out for recess, the, the teachers had to tell them to just play on one side of the playground because the other side, there was a busy, busy interstate and it was very dangerous. And so they could only play on one side of the playground. And so um, one day, someone who decided to put up a fence, genius person decided to put up a fence, they realized that now, not only were they able to play on one side of the playground, but they could actually play uh, in the entire playground and this created a lot of freedom. And the same thing happens when you create these healthy boundaries. Uh, in the beginning, they seem like you're, maybe you're restricting yourself, like it's too intense. I'm not gonna be able to sustain this. But what you realize is that discipline brings freedom, right? In the beginning, it feels a little restrictive and then you start to notice that uh, you can get away with more things because now your metabolism is partitioning fats for fuel and not storing it. You realize that um, you don't even crave those things anymore. And so it's easier to stay away from uh, the, the cakes and the ice creams and the things that were so triggering and tempting before. It becomes a very powerful experience when you balance out your the, these boundaries with, with a little bit of freedom. And so if you adhere to these five principles, I truly believe that not only will you get away from that toxic relationship, uh, but you'll start to build that momentum. And that momentum is, is, a, is, is a powerful force and, and that keeps you moving forward. And this is what we see with our clients. They come in, they're excited. A couple of weeks in, they, they, find, they see the adversity, but they start to remember that toxic relationship they had with food and that keeps them moving forward. And so I hope you've been motivated by this video more importantly i hope you put this video into action if you watch this video and you do nothing with it then you have just wasted your time but if you put it into action i know that you're going to see some radical changes in your waistline you're going to be able to self-regulate build self-discipline and uh and and this is very very exciting and so follow these principles watch this video again take some notes and execute on it my name is jt tapias with the empty your bucket nutrition plan i hope you've enjoyed this video more importantly put it to action if we're not friends yet, subscribe to this channel. And if you enjoyed this video, you're gonna love this one here. I'll talk to you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.